Carburetors. They're the best of times and the worst of times. At their best, you get instant throttle response, but at their worst, if these things are dirty, nothing is gonna run right. And that was the case for my old Suzuki carburetors right here. Bike wasn't running right, wasn't good in the high RPM, so had to go through with the ultrasonic cleaning, but these things worked great. First thing I did, take the carbs all the way apart. And then I started dunking them into the ultrasonic cleaner. Let these things heat up a little bit. I actually use this one. It heats up a little bit better since there's less water in there. Got it up to 150 degrees, dumped in 12 cups of water and three cups of oil eater. So four to one ratio there. Uh, once these were all apart, dunked them in there, put all the little pieces into a glass just to keep them separated so they didn't fall through the basket, as you guys can see right there. Then I let it go for 90 minutes. These things came out perfectly. The oil eater is a little bit greasy, so make sure you get some compressed air and you wipe these off with some clean water. Always use distilled water and especially in these things as well. And once I put them back together, the bike was running fantastically. This really did the trick. There's a lot of crevices and small cavities and passageways in a carburetor that need to be perfectly clean for them to work right. And this is a great way to do that. We're giving away a MIG 180 welder at 500,000 subscribers. All you have to do is be subscribed. Make sure you check out our channel as well. We have tons of great how-to content over there you're definitely gonna wanna see. As always, we'll have the ultrasonic cleaners link below. Thanks for watching. I'm JD. Keep it right, Reese Wood, to do the job right.